now at five. You know what I get to tell I love? Right here. That's what I get to tell I love. She's in an urn. The words of a strong but heartbroken mother after those convicted in her daughter's death learned their punishments. Then, a multi-state manhunt for four escaped inmates in Ohio comes to an end. But there are major concerns tonight. This could happen again. It's not safe for our community. It's not safe for our children. Something needs to change. And the Browns welcomed home in style after beating the Ravens. That was an emotional scene just a few hours ago as family and friends of a murder victim packed the Summit County courtroom. This afternoon, two people convicted in connection with the killing of Samantha Gunthery learned their punishments. News 5's Bob Jones is live in Akron. And Bob, before the judge handed down the sentences, she heard from Samantha's loved ones. Well, we actually heard from 10 family members or friends of Samantha Guthrie, including the powerful statements from her mother and father. The convicted killer refused to make eye contact as they spoke. I'll never be the same person. My life changed November 4th. I have sleepless nights. I'm ev angry every night. I'm angry at the world. I'm angry that you took my daughter from me. A courtroom packed with Samantha Guthrie's loved ones wearing pink and black Justice for Samantha t-shirts. The judge first heard from her parents who brought an angel into the court to remember their 18-year-old daughter. She had dreamed of becoming a neonatal nurse. You know what I get to tell I love? Right here. That's what I get to tell I love. She's in an urn. Thank you for that. Thank you so much. Samantha was last seen alive at an abandoned drug house in Akron last November. Her family searched for her for weeks before her body was found in a wooded area in New Franklin. She had been shot in the head and suffered cuts on her neck. Danny Hamby was convicted of the murder and today was sentenced to 24 years to life. He kept his head down throughout the hearing as one by one Samantha's relatives spoke directly to him. You let her body sit in the woods for three weeks. Tony Kenny was sentenced to 16 years for her role in the brutal crime. She was found guilty of kidnapping and gross abuse of a corpse. Samantha doesn't get a chance to fix her mistakes. Samantha doesn't get an early release. She doesn't get anything because you guys took her away. Now I stand here today not with my daughter by my side, but beside the man and woman who thought her life was not worth living. A family left heartbroken over the tragic death of Samantha Guthrie doesn't believe the sentences of Hamby and Kenny brings them justice, but they did feel a piece of closure after nearly a year of the case working its way through the courts. I told you once, you don't mess with my kids. You failed to listen. Well, now you have to listen and you will see the repercussions. And as Hamby left the courtroom in handcuffs, Samantha's family cheered. <laughs> And two other people were convicted in connection with Samantha's case. Dylan Brown and William Alexander are expected to be sentenced in October. Live in Akron tonight, Bob Jones, News 5.